welcome to the season finale of Addict to Fishing. I'm your host, Captain Blair Wiggins, and on today's episode, we're going to show you some of the more interesting and unusual species of fish that we've caught along the way. Then we're going to take you way back in the Everglades on a magazine shoot. We caught a ton of fish, but one fish in particular that we're going to show you. But up first, after the break, we're going to show you two of my personal best fish ever. Two of the most sought after species of saltwater fish that swim, a snook and a permit. The combined weight of both of them, over 60 pounds. Y'all stay tuned to this episode of Addictive Fishing. It's going to be a fun one. Welcome back. You know, everybody's got good days and bad days out on the water. Up next, you're going to see my personal best day ever. One snook and one permit. The combined weight of both fish was over 60 pounds. It was nonstop action for two hours. Y'all check this out. There he is. There he is, brother. Right there. Where'd you hit him at? Uh, right in the corner of the mouth. Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> He's right behind the boat. Nice. Ooh, just hope he stays off that anchor line up there. I'm gonna have to go around the front. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the mackerel out there. Golly! Y'all ever get the chance to come out here and do this? I have never in my life experienced snook fishing like this. And these fish over here, I tell you, it's awesome, awesome, awesome. And unlike catching them around the mangroves and stuff. Oh, this guy's huge. This guy is huge. I'm gonna have to do a little. You gotta get me going around the boat. Have to do me a little. Uh, underneath the anchor line. He wants to stay right on this anchor up here. This is my biggest snook of my life, y'all. My biggest snook ever. Look at this pig. Look at this pig. Look at this pig. Unbelievable. And I wish we could show you the underwater of these fish, but I think it's a little bit too cloudy to get the underwater cameras out, so we're gonna pull this guy up. This guy just gave up. Uh, yeah, don't stress him out anymore. Okay, hold this, let me grab this guy. That's the biggest snook I've ever caught. He's kinda stressed. <sighs> Definitely my biggest snook ever, though. <sighs> Come on, guy. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put that head on him. I love that Labrador look. Unbelievable. Jim? Beautiful. I'm glad you found these fish, man. Uh, me too. You and Glenn got, you and, I was a little worried. You and Glenn got something going here, I tell you. Uh. Awesome. Love it, better. <laughs> there he goes. They're coming this They're coming to you. They're coming to you. As soon as you feel them, tap it. Set the hook. Oh. 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 Oh, it should be instant now. They're going to hit it right on top. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right now, go. There he is. Permit. Oh. Captain Glenn Andrews. We're in the Gulf of Mexico. And we got us a nice permit on the end of the line here. Where are we at, Glenn? Uh, we're just south of uh, Marco, about, uh, I'm not going to tell you how many miles. <laughs> but, uh, I wouldn't you know, doubt that's it. That's our little secret. But uh, we've got some rock piles down here that are just loaded. Big permit. We're coming out to get snook now. And we came up, we're looking for the, for the little rock pile. And the school of permit out here just came up and I thought it was the wreck. I said, Glenn, what's this out here? Is that, is that the wreck? He said, no, man, it's permit. I said, we got to get one of these. So we're going to show this fish to you. Then we're going to get some snook on the line and show you. Check that school. Kind of reminds me of them black fins. 
<laughs> uh, you know, I did that here, uh, Blair, here a couple years ago. Really? Look at him under the boat, right under the boat. Man, that Power Pro sounds weird going through that. Man, these things got some pull. Just tell me when you got him close, sir, and I'll uh, okay. bring you the net. Okay. He's having his way with me right now a little bit. When I was using monofilament, it was to grab the line, but with this power thread, you don't want to grab it too much because it will do some damage if you get a fish that'll run real fast and peel off the line. He's having his way with me right now. Easy, he took one look at you going and he said, what? My first big permit. Man, these things are awesome. Yeah. There's a little color down there. Man, this thing like bringing up a manhole cover. What a beautiful permit. That's a big permit. That fish right there is, uh, he's 25 pounds or better. The biggest permit I've ever caught. I think the ones we get up around the Space Coast up there don't get near this big. Oh, uh, this one's 25, 28. We get them around the wrecks up there off the Space Coast, and they come up and float like that, but they ain't near this size. All of them are this big and bigger. I've caught some of the biggest permit I've ever caught on a wreck just north of us here, and I'm proud of it. 35, 45 pounds. Really? All right, he's right here by the boat. Brother, we're okay. gonna bring this sucker back. Wait till y'all see this permit. Ooh. Big fish, yeah, watch that step. Yeah, we'll definitely. All right, bring him on over here. All right, give me a little slack. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what a fish. <laughs> Look at this. Man, check out what this great fish. Big fish. <sighs> okay, you got him? Yeah. Let's grab him underneath. <sighs> oh, oh, yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Well, look at that. He's he's close to 30. Blair. Is that a permit? Yeah, that's a that's a 30 pounder. Right Is there. that a permit? Hey, y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with Captain Glenn Andrews. Some more addictive fishing. That's a 30. Woo! That's a 30 pound permit right there. All right, look at that. All right, let's put him back in the water. All right. Were those two absolutely incredible fish, or what? I tell you, whether they're two pounds or 30 pounds, I'll catch those fish all day long. It was two hours of non-stop action. Glenn Andrews, he knows how to use the fish candy. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back. Well, welcome back. You know, when you have a magazine photographer with you out on a TV shoot, some pretty strange things can happen. Y'all check out this next segment, some pretty strange things happen. Kids, don't try this at home. Nice fish. Okay, when you're swinging, you're swinging by me. Okay. About 80. Yeah. Are you gonna take pictures? You want me to hold him for you? I don't think we'll be lipping this guy. A little bitty moray. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. Mm. 
Weighs about 50 pounds. It's nice. Hey, you're out there soaking that, soaking that bait buster, and all the bait buster wore off that thing. There. Pretty little fish. Need to go around and get her back in the water. You know, the best way to get those fish off is just clip them right there by the water and don't pick them up because they do have some sharp teeth that can put a hurting on you. And up next, you know, sometimes I'm under the gun a lot when we're out fishing and we, we hook into unexpected species a lot of times. They turn out to be really weird fish. Y'all check this out. Ooh, ooh, live bait rod, live bait rod. There's a big one, there's a big one. Get him, baby. Uh-oh. That feels like something big. <laughs> It feels like something real nice, Leo. Good deal, man. Didn't make a run like a king. It ain't running Could be like a nice dolphin. Didn't come up to say hello, though. He's way down. I see some color down there. If that's him. I'll tight your drag. I don't know what it is, but I see some color down there. It looks like a nice fish. He ain't swimming too good. I'm tangled up. Oh, nice dolphin, I think. No, it's a tail wrap remora. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about a weird looking fish. <laughs> these guys, he's all wrapped up. Easy. There's some pliers. In your back pocket. Head. Did I have my back pocket? No, here they are. He's tangled up on something. Oh, he's stuck. He stuck himself to the hatch. <laughs> he unstuck himself. That's why they use the top of his head, and they, that's how they stick to other fish. They're, more, they're a parasite fish. What family of fish are these things in, Leo? Any idea? I don't have a clue. I wouldn't even venture a guess. The ones you don't like to catch. <laughs> Whoa, check out his head. That is a weird looking little head. Look at that. Weird looking. So see ya. Yeah, not a target species, but. Hey, it's a fish. Looks like they're coming right at us, too. Uh, we're going to the right. Should be right in line with them. Come on, babies. Come on now. Looks like he's going to it. He's got it. What fish up? Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, oh. See him moving left? Moving left? He's got it. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Bone fish, brother. Ah, that damn cowfish. Is it a cowfish? Sure is. A cowfish. Man, I'm so. Man, I tell you what. A cowfish in this game. That's a fish, man. Look, a cowfish. That's an exoskeletal fish. The skeleton's on the outside, and all the meat's on the inside. That's what makes them so tasty. Kind of like a shellfish, huh? They say they're pretty good to eat if you can carve your way in them. Well, Dave, let's get this cowfish up here. Show him to everybody out there. Show him what he looks like. These are some weird looking fish. Look at those lips. Got lips like a big old black drum. <laughs> They're easy to grab. Ooh. All right. A little cowfish. These things are pretty neat. We're in Biscayne Bay today with Captain Dave Sutton. We're looking for bonefish. Not cowfish, even though these things are pretty neat looking. Yeah, we rarely get a sea robin here. That there you go. Oh, what a... looks at. What in the world is it? Oh, it's a nasty little sea robin. I'm gonna see a oogly fish. Get a close up of this one. These are also called mother-in-law fish. Look at the teeth on the guy. It's a sea robin. Ain't, toad. ain't they pretty? And as you can see from the, from the teeth on this guy, I don't want to touch him. This is one fish I won't touch. So I'm going to grab a hold of that hook with these here pliers and shake him loose. And this time, I hope it's a nice yellow mouth sea trout. 
<laughs> Robin fish. Mother-in-law fish. Oyster toad. Oyster toad. Man, was that an ugly fish or what? I tell you, your adrenaline's pumping, you get out there and you hook into that fish, and you always think it's a targeted species. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. Well, I can't believe it. Another year of addictive fishing is in the history books. Before we close the show, I'd like to pay out special thanks to a lot of people that make addictive fishing happen. Jerry Outlaw on the guitar, Bill Urshan back there on the mixer. They bring you the sounds each and every week that you hear on Addictive Fishing. George Shaftsma, our fearless camera guy, he brings you the, the shots that you see every week. They're incredible shots. Kevin McCabe, a lifelong friend since the second grade. Without him, Addictive Fishing would still be just a dream. I'd like to thank our sponsors too. Without them, Addictive Fishing sure wouldn't be here. And last but not least, I'd like to thank you all, the viewers, for tuning in each week right here to OLN. So until next year, don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. Any of the guides that you've seen on the show, you can go right there and book them right through the website. Till next year, we'll see you. This ain't a bad show. It's a salt water show, brother. <laughs> He's gonna scream right now. There he is. Yeah, baby, come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's a crab, boy. Ooh, brother. Barracuda about this size just came. Peacock bass for a lot You could only smell it. Marco Allen permit. Zero mackerel. I'm a jack, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Cool to you, brother. Thanks for the weak hearted boatsman. Nice. There's just some teeth. Incredible. Whatever blades you want. Nice fish. Nice! Here he is, here he is, he's on, he's on, he's on! Hey, he's got it, he's got it! Oh yeah! There he is! Alright! Nice fish! <laughs> now that brother is a Morgan! <laughs> or Masasa, <a> brother! <laughs> Indian River Redfish. Yeah, baby! Woohoo! Yeah! Mogan, man. Zelma Fudd would say that's unbelievable. Now that is addictive. Double permit. Go, baby, go, baby, go! That's what you call a mogan. Ballerina impression. There he is. Go <laughs> hard body. Unbelievable. Oh, you're about to 